Hello, welcome along to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix the picture in the manager picture in FM24 after the um, update that was uh, brought out earlier this week and is the problems that it's causing. Uh, we've lost the manager profile picture and also new gens. This will work for the new gens as well. So I'm just going to show you for the profile for the manager and hopefully that will fix your new gens per se. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want me to do more of the same, then please leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification button, and leave me some comments, etc, etc. All helps me here on YouTube. So since the update happened, this is what has gone on in the, um, in the screen. As you'll see, we have at the top here uh, a manager and uh, it's uh, a new gen. It was originally a picture. Um, and uh, it needs fixing, basically. Uh, previously, you'd have gone into Preferences and you would have pulled this down and in amongst this lot somewhere, you'd have had a, the opportunity to click on uh, Link to a Picture and uh, change your profile picture. But it's disappeared. I know um, uh, Sports Interactive have said they will uh, have a look at fixing it but we don't know how long that will be. It could be this afternoon. It could be uh, a little way off. If you want to fix this and your new gens in the meantime, because I think the new gens are going to stay as it is. So this, as I say, will work for your new gens. This is what you have to do. First of all, you need to locate your picture on your computer. So we will do that right now. Let's uh, just go and select... I move this over onto this screen you can see what's going on as well the first thing you need to do is find in your on your computer your headshot that you want and then you will need to make sure that the headshot there it is the headshot is of a compatible format uh, 250 by 250 pixels is the right size for this and then what you need to do is you need to move that into your graphics folder so f football manager 24 graphics folder and faces and then faces again and you have all your pictures in here if you've downloaded faces and also your regens and so on and so forth um, and you put that picture into this folder here faces so uh, football manager 24 graphics faces faces and having done that, you go back to your uh, computer. Go back to your game, should I say. So we're just going to close that down for a minute. Right at the top here, first thing you need to do, if it's not already set up, go to Preferences. And if you pull the Preferences down until you find Skin. Um, and... In this bit here where it says skin, it, show, it says show screen IDs in title bar to assist skinning. What you need to do is you need to make sure that box is ticked, if it's not already ticked, and then reload your skin. Once your skin has reloaded, we're not going to do it now. Uh, once your skin has reloaded, you will find uh, that you have a number up against your name at the top. In my case, it is R-2002072476. Yours could be different, so you need to get that number, jot it down. You then go back into your um, original screen, which I'm going to try and do now. Uh, just bear with me a second. Right, we need to go back into here and we need to change. So you will have called your headshot, whatever it might be, your name, something headshot. I don't know. You might have called it. You need to re-click uh, on it. And if you click on it so that it gets a blue line over it, you can then type in there the number that you've jotted down. Okay, so that you have your headshot and the number, your manager number in effect. You then need to go into the config file, which should be in there. Right, so just click on the config file. You will open a box up, open it up wide. And the first thing you need to do is you need to go all the way to the bottom. 
go down as far as you can and what you then need to do is copy the last line in there with any number on you're going to copy that control c move your cursor to the end of the row and create an open space and then control v which will duplicate that last number what you're going to do now is you're going to go back and first things first we're going to delete the number we're not going to delete all of it because 200 is the start of the number and uh, we're going to add to that now our manager number which one So we've typed in the name, the number 2002724777. I just realized that because I used my keypad, might have knocked off the sound there. So apologies if you missed that. But uh, just type in your manager number in that first bit there. And then you're going to come along, follow it along to graphics forward slash pictures forward slash person. And then forward slash. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the number in here again. But first of all, we will uh, get rid of the previous number. And we're going to come back along this line. I'm doing it uh, slightly differently this time, hopefully, so it doesn't uh, create any problems. And we're going to type in the manager number again 207277. Right. We're going to go to the front of that number now. And we're going to add a lowercase r. And then a dash. So it should read, that whole line of code should read record from equals uh, inverted commas 200207247. Replace that with your manager number. Don't forget to do that. Uh, two equals inverted commas graphics forward slash pictures forward slash person forward slash R dash. And that number again forward slash portrait inverted commas forward slash and the uh greater um, and smaller than sign the little arrowy sign at the end make sure that that is all there the next thing you need to do and don't forget to do this bit otherwise you will wonder why things haven't happened click on save so you've clicked on save that config file has updated it has saved itself if you want to go back in and click on it and double check that it hasn't changed just to convince yourself that you are good and uh, dandy, then do so. Right, back to the main game screen now. And we still have our picture, our regen picture in here. We are now going to go to preferences one more time. And we're going to click on reload skin. You should see this box come up, changing skin, loading image data for the new skin. Please wait. Depend on what skin you're using, depend on whether you're using FM or, or whatever. This could take sort of between about 10, 15 seconds to about a minute. Uh, I'm going to come back when it updates. And there you go. We have updated it with our picture. Our picture now appears in this top bit. As I said, it should work for your regens as well. The only thing you need to do is do a replace i will do a separate video for your regens just to uh think but i think immediately this fix this problem i will uh, look and sort the regens make sure that it works and come back and explain it to you uh in exactly the same way um if you want me to of course and uh, the way of showing me that you want me to do that is to give me that big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button it all helps me here on youtube and uh it would of course um make sure that uh, um, we get the right things for you to watch i hope this has helped you out i know it's caused a few problems on the uh the football manager community and uh, a lot of people asking how do i fix it how do i fix it hopefully this explains how to fix it uh, as i say if you have enjoyed the video do the, all the right things for me and uh, don't forget while you're here check out my videos as well you never know you might find something that you'll enjoy thank you for watching See you next time.